All right, this is Bob Beeman. We're going to call the meeting to order at uh, 6.02. First on the agenda is Copley Trust. And we have uh, final approval for funding for the Lamoille Stargazers. And I believe we have uh, Representative Neil Perlin on the line to uh, talk about it. Neil, go ahead. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, yep, this is Neil Perlin. Um, yeah, I'm representing the group, and we very much appreciate the, the funding. Um, by having Jed take the trees down, it's opened up a huge area of sky, and it's going to make the observatory a lot more useful. And we are, in fact, putting together plans for several years' worth of activities based around the observatory. And all this stuff really is made feasible in large part by getting the trees taken down. So thank you very much. And if the weather ever improves, we would like to invite um, everyone on the board out to a private showing at the observatory. OK. That's right. great. I can't promise what, what you'll see, but whatever you see should be good. All right, so um, what else can I tell you at this point? Well, this is the final approval part of the funding for that and um, for that $5,900 that was requested. Yes. And um, we know the work's already been done, but uh, this just following the process. So, sure. all right. Somebody so, wants to make a motion. Make a motion to approve the $5,900 request. We'll seconded by Judy. We have a motion by Eric and seconded by Judy. Is there any further discussion? All in favor by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? I didn't hear Brian get on. And I'll. I'm Aye. Aye. Oh, all right, Brian. So motion is passed uh, unanimously. Um, Neil, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, nope, that's pretty much it. If uh, I have all the paper, I think all the paperwork that I need to get to you folks. So if somebody can just email me tomorrow and let me know, I can come down to town hall, give you a copy of the check from TD Bank and get the paperwork rolling. Um, excuse me, uh, just a second. Um, as far as the paperwork is concerned, Dick Sargent is the one that um, is in charge of the Copley Trust funds, not the town. So you coordinate with Dick in order to get, um, you know, give him a bill and get a check. All right, very good. All right. Okay. Yep, yep, this I'll was Tina, by the way. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much, Tina. Yeah. Um, all right then. Yeah, I will chase down Dick, get this going, and again, thank you all very much for supporting this. We, the group appreciates it. All right. Sounds so good, Dick, Neil. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my pleasure. So I'm going to sign off now. Have a good meeting. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Bye -bye. All right. We also have for the Copley Trust approved the minutes for February 1st, 2021. I have a motion by Eric and a second by Gary. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And this is Bob Aye. Uh, motion is passed unanimously. And so now we're, do we have any more business to Copley Trust? Yeah, we have a motion to adjourn second. in a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, now, all right, motion is passed. Aye. We are now in a regular portion of select board meeting. Dan, are there any changes or additions? Yes, please um, add um, a point once member of the select board to approve the warrants. Anything else? That's it. All right, thanks, Dan. Next, approve the minutes. Uh, the minutes of February 1st, 2021. A motion by Eric and a second by Gary. Is there any further 
discussion. All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? And Bob is aye. So motion is passed unanimously. Next, community concerns. I know we have uh, at least one tonight. Is there any other community concerns out there? Mary Nunn, Bob, this we'll, is Joel uh, Cade. Yeah, we'll invite Joel to speak. Go ahead, Joel. Welcome. All right. Okay, this is Joel Page. Uh, thank you, Bob, for inviting me to address the select board meeting. Uh, I asked to do this uh, because I'd like to give you an update on where things stand in our challenge of the Village of Hyde Park water and sewer system rates. Um, just by way of background, uh, the Village of Hyde Park has upgraded its water and sewer systems at a cost exceeding $4 million. And that cost is spread out over about 230 users. And so the, uh, the users have quite a lot of expense and operating costs to absorb. Uh, the revised fee schedule that the village trustees came up with um, resulted in an increase of about $55,000 per year for the county of and about $27,500 for the Town of Hyde Park and for the Moyle North Supervisory Union and School District. Uh, those are big numbers have, that have nothing to do with water usage. That's just uh, two meters for the county and one meter each for the Town of Hyde Park, and uh, which has a fire station, and Le Moyle North, which has the school. So, we, the county initially decided that it was going to challenge that fee structure because it seemed to be arbitrary and unreasonable and excessive. And uh, recently, the Town of Hyde Park and Lamoille North Supervisory Union have joined Lamoille County in the challenge to the utility rates. The law firm of Tarrant, Gillies, Richardson, and Shems in Montpelier has been retained by the three parties. That firm has expertise in both utility law and municipal law and uh, huge amounts of experience in both of those areas. Uh, in addition, a firm uh, that has expertise, not a law firm, but uh, a consulting firm with expertise in economics and utility rate structures has been retained to conduct an analysis of the village rates. So basically what we're doing here is trying to do our due diligence to see if we viable case and uh, a good solid alternative rate structure to offer. Um, we are in the pre-litigation phase. There has been no uh, lawsuit filed. Uh, we did meet with the village trustees back, I believe, in late October and uh, asked them to revise their rate structure to provide a great deal of relief from the rates that they were expecting us to pay, and they uh, respectfully declined our offer to reduce the rates. So we are in the pre-litigation phase where we are uh, doing fact-finding and legal research. A public records request was made a few weeks, a few weeks ago to the Village of Hyde Park, and yesterday a large number of emails and documents was received, and another uh, three or four hundred are expected possibly tomorrow. So. The document dump has started, and uh, it will be mostly the uh, the consulting firm that is uh, reviewing those documents, organizing them, and uh, determining 
whether that appears to be all the others out there. And then we'll be doing going to the village offices and doing a little more hands-on research, fill in any gaps that exist. The document review and that analysis will probably take a couple of months. So far, the expenses that we have incurred are over $6,000 in attorney fees, and the expert firm has will cost about $8,500 plus expenses for their firm to identify and analyze Hyde Park's records and give us an opinion, a written opinion, as to essentially whether we have a case. Uh, the issue is whether the rate structure is arbitrary and reasonable. Uh, the burden of proof is on us to prove that it is, so that better, more reasonable option for uh, a rate structure. So if after we do our due diligence, we determine that we have a solid legal case, then we will try to negotiate a resolution with the village of Hyde Park. If we cannot negotiate a resolution, we can either commence litigation or accept the present rates. Uh, that decision is down the road a ways. Um, and as significant new develops, developments occur, we'll try to keep you in the loop because um, the town of Morristown will be picking up a uh, significant portion of the cost of these additional utility fees through the county uh, Cambridge and Stowe have offered and are in the process of contributing $2,000 each to help defray the expenses of this initial phase in our effort to challenge the fees and uh, the town of Johnson has offered to contribute $200. And that concludes my update uh, due to my status as a judge and the Vermont rules of judicial conduct. Um, I can't really get into money issues any further. I'm limited on, on what I can say. Fortunately, um, Susan Bartlett on behalf of the town of Hyde Park, uh, has been able to be present and uh, can provide some additional perspective as the town of Hyde Park, like the county, is also a party in this challenge to the utility fees and to join in the discussion. Susan? Sure. Yeah, thank you, Joel. And um, hi, everybody. <laughs> right now, I'm sitting here going, I'm really glad this is, Zoom. This is, you know, on the phone and I can mute it because I was being clever doing something else and I was re-inking a pad. I now have black hands. <laughs> if you hadn't been muted, you would have heard some interesting language as I clean up my desk here. Um, I guess I'm not very good at multitasking. Um we had, and as and as Joel says, when the when the rates came out, we were um, we were stunned to say the least. Um, and and um, talked with Joel because uh, again the the courthouse and the sheriff's department uh, that part of of the gigantic increase is going to be picked up by everybody in the county. This the the northern end of the county is going to get hit because the elementary school really takes a hit. Um, so so this end of the county is getting that as well. Um, we um, since the side judges set up a, uh, a a meeting with the with the village to talk about, and they had their uh, the lawyer at the time to talk about. Um, very politely, you know, this, this doesn't this doesn't feel particularly fair. Um, how did you reach this? Uh, Joe was being very polite and saying that they politely refused. They were very indignant that anyone dared to question that you know that they hadn't done their 
their due diligence and looking at a variety of ways to, you know, to fund it. And, and very clearly to me, one of the things I, that I remember is they said, well, do you guys have a better plan? <laughs> I was thinking, well, I think that's a big key. Um, once we decided as, as the town to, uh, to join with the side judges, and we were talking with the school and we're pretty sure that our school district was going to join as well. Um, I, uh, I had a, a long talk with the, with the lawyers to understand it's like, well, gee, here we are needing to spend nine, $10,000 sort of up front to figure out if, you know, is this fair? Because the words that are used to describe is it fair, equitable, unreasonable, all those sorts of squishy things. And um, I know that that courts, judges don't like to tell municipalities what to do um, and felt that it was therefore very important to have the town involved in this. Um, and I think the more towns that we have involved from the beginning, uh, let's assume that we have a uh, we have a reasonable case that that will be very helpful in helping a court decide um, that there needs to be a, a different solution. I think um, I, I am hopeful that, that what will, um, will come of it, that, that we will have several options and different ways to pay for it. And that, as Joel has said, we can then talk, here, here are a couple of dif different options. Let's go, let's go this route. Um, through the through the village's process of of, of uh, selling this bond, and we've all been if you're in town government, you know you've gone through trying a community on the on the need for a bond. They basically told their homeowners, ratepayers, that their rates wouldn't go up more than twenty twenty five, and the water rates in in Hyde Park Village are really quite low. So it sort of appears when you look at the rate schedule that that's exactly what happened, that they held their homeowners, not even their businesses, but their homeowners to that low rate. And then they've just dispersed the rest of it in a, in a formula that we can't figure out. And in Hyde Park, there are a couple of residents who have really gotten into it. And um, one of the things in setting the rate that they're apparently supposed to do is to have looked at several different options. And they can't so far haven't been able to find any indicate that they really looked at other options. But this is this is what the lawyers are gonna go through. So um we would as they say, I'm I'm offering people the opportunity to leap in early with us and uh, help us meet this upfront cost. Um and again, I think it will be I'm sure it will be helpful the more towns that are involved. Um, being the optimist that I am, that we're going to get a a, a a negotiable answer from the folks that are looking at the rates and how things are set up. Um, that if we do end up in court, um, and, and even if we don't, that if the village sees that it isn't just Hyde Park, it isn't just the side judges, um, you know, that that the entire county is very concerned about this and would like to find a a more equitable solution. So uh, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, we, we've set up a, we've set up a, a system so that um, if, if uh, you choose to participate in paying for this, as Stowe and Cambridge and Hyde Park and Johnson are doing now, um, Joel can send you a, uh, Joel can, can invoice you, um, and I'm, I'm happy to. And, and as you say, it's glad to have you in, but anybody that's in, we're happy to tell people, you know, what we're doing in the process. I think what's, what's been important to a lot of folks in Hyde Park is to understand at this point that we are not suing the village. What we are doing is trying to, to uh, come up and find uh, uh, some, some more equitable solutions that everybody feels they can live with. Okay, Susan, uh, thanks, thanks to you for your part explaining it, and thanks to Joel. Um, to be kind of direct, I, I'm guessing you guys would would like it if Morristown would maybe follow suit the same as uh, Stowe and Cambridge did and uh, support maybe $2,000 or something like that. Is that what you're aiming I, for? I would, I would love it. 
if, if you don't, we'll still love you, but we'll love you even more if you do it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and Bob, Bob, this is Joel. I am not in a position to discuss finances right. or give any appearance of soliciting or anything, so I'm not going to be part of that particular right. discussion. Yeah, I'm aware of uh, the constraints you have as a judge, and um, I, I respect that, but uh, it, it's good you stated it because now it's on record. <laughs> That's right. Well, and and we have is the town of I realize what's going to happen is once we get this information back um, and and um, and have a conversation with um, and I think and everybody will be involved in it with all right. Does this merit going forward? What do we do? Where do we go from here? Um, people can and again at that point, school and and uh, the side judges and Hyde Park if it merits going forward and spending more money. We in Hyde Park have said we'll go up. To to seven thousand dollars at this point, because um, there are other legal bills to pay and everything else. Um, decision from there. Okay. So, does one of my board want to comment on it? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Is it true? I've been uh, I've been hearing that this is just the first phase of maybe two or three more that are coming down the pike. To uh, improve the water system over there. Yes, this is not the entire water system. system. <laughs> That's why Another we thought we might want to go with it. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Change the, the uh, source. And I understand they're changing the. They want to change the source as well as the reservoir. And I don't know what else is going on, but um, yeah, well, I think the. Just, Maybe yeah, the rest of it, I think really the the main stuff that they'll have to do after this is um, are the rest of the streets that are not being done now. I think this first phase is, phase is taking care of building a larger um, reservoir and all of that. Okay, so the reservoir is included in this first phase, the four main. I'm, I'm, I, I'm almost certain of that, Gary, yeah. But they definitely have another bond to come. Right. That's what I had heard also. It just there was yeah. a couple more streets that had to be. Uh, uh, just just seems to me I, I understand they keep blaming it on the state for making them do this, the state's making them do that. Well, uh, at that point, the state should be ponying up some money to, to construct these things, or uh, what are they going to do if they don't do it? Well, I. <laughs> Since we're on the record, I'll take you out for a cup of coffee, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious about the water rate increase was effective as of October 2020. The sewer rates are going to go up in I think, April and May time frame. So I'm curious, I, I know you will restrict a little bit of answers, but are we, is the county currently paying the increased rates? to the water life program in Hyde Park, or are they paying yes. a escrow account? Uh, pending no, we have to, um, uh, in, in talking with the lawyers, we have to pay, but with every bill that goes in, we are paying under the rest. In the end, right, we, have, we have funded. We've been paying the bills, it's kind of big letters, top and bottom, payment under protest. Uh, with an expectation that we would be refunded or credited for any overpayment. And uh, if we weren't making the payments, then we'd be paying a, a percentage penalty uh, for each payment. You know, if it ends up remaining uh, in effect. So, so yeah, we are paying. And, you know, it's not our intention to bankrupt the village of Pipe Park and uh, if such a thing is possible, but there, you know, if the money stopped coming in, um, I don't know what happens to all the homes and businesses in Hyde Park, but, yeah. um, you know, we, we want to, whatever solution we come up with has to retain the, the integrity of the village of Hyde Park, because it's a very important part of Hyde Park. 
uh, you know, the last thing we want to do is be responsible for the destruction of the village. That's not our goal here. We're just looking for a, a fair way of slicing this pie. All right. Thanks, Joel. Brian, you have any comment? No, all set. How about you, Judy? How about you, Judy? No, I don't have any questions. It seems pretty clear what we need to do. Well, do I hear a motion regarding it? Make, Make a motion that we join the um, process already in place of um, joining Town of Cambridge and other towns and villages in Memorial County to uh, investigate the process of what, recouping our money or investigating this process. In what amount? $2,000. Okay, I have a motion on the floor. Is there a second? This is Brian. Second I'll second that. Okay, I have Brian second it. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And this is Bob, I'm aye. The motion is passed unanimously. Um, well, I, I tell you, uh, Joel and Susan, wish you luck on this challenge. It seems like uh, uh, a big boulder to push uphill, but um, definitely keep us posted to what's going on. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely well. uh, appreciate the support. And, um, you know, what's life without a challenge? <laughs> That's right. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank yeah, right. thank you. Thank appreciate you very much, folks. Yep, thank I'm, gonna, you. I'm leaving now. Bye now. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. All right, is there any more community concerns out there? If not, we'll move into liquor control. I have a motion and a second. We are now, or all in favor say aye. 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 Judy and Brian. Aye. 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 Bigger control. So, Sarah, we just have uh, these renewals here. Is that correct? Yes. Those four renewals Dollar General, um, Max, Cumberland Farms, and Lost Nation. Okay. And Richard, do you have any issues with that? No issues from Richard. I, I have a motion from Eric and a second by Gary. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. I'm I also. Motion is passed unanimously. Do I hear a motion to come out? Second. I have a motion by Eric and a second by Gary. All in favor say aye. 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 We are now out of liquor control. All right, new business. Uh, let's do approve the, oh, would you say approve the warrants was uh, addition, Dan? Have somebody sign them. Yes, please. Make a motion that we approve the warrant and have uh, Bob to sign. I have a motion by Eric. Second. And a second by Gary. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. My mind. Motion is passed unanimously. All right, next uh, new business, hire police officer, Richard. Uh, police department's request is a little different than the legal as it is to hire a police officer. Uh, we're looking for, it would be an open hire date and, and hire the person as an employee of the police department until we know which way we're going to be able to get him into training. He may go into training. The 8th of May, uh, March, or maybe May 2nd, or nothing good if we missed the boat or something happened, then you're done at all. But at this point, we're going to try to get things underway. 
This person, Brian Almondson, has you know, talked with him over the winter. Actually, we did pick up him last fall. I've heard his name before, yeah. Throughout the, the year up to this point. So now, we do have uh, at least two weeks of training that we can give him right now. You know, if we know that he's going to be going into either level one, two training or level three training, we are talking to the academy now. Everything's kind of up in the air, and it's nothing normal about this year. So right. This is a little different. I mean, we're asking to put him on as an employee of the police department. But no set date. No set date. Uh, it may be next week, maybe two weeks from now, maybe a month from now. So, so we need to have that flexibility to be able to pull the trigger, so to speak. Okay. So we're asking for, I think I got a motion to drop it up. So yeah, there is one. Looking for 1750 an hour is 75% of the base of the state to a police officer. So at this point, I'm going to bring the 1750 and put that to work. The only language in there about it being an open hire, so I'm starting to think quicker. Yes, please. Yeah, an open hire. Yeah. I make a motion to hire Brian Tomlinson to the Morristown Police Department. And the full time employee to begin training as a police officer, starting wage at $17.50 per hour with benefits, and the actual hiring date to be set at the chief's discretion. All right, I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And Bob is I. Motion is passed unanimously. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. We'll bring it in to the meeting post. Yeah, please do. We like that. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right, next, accept Diana Osborne's resignation. Phil. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, I would call your attention to the letter in your packet from Diana. Diana has uh, yeah. uh, elected to uh, resign from her full time permit extent with. Uh, Town of Morris County MS and is asking to be returned to the volunteer roster. Uh, she's got the opportunity to fulfill some life goals, and uh, certainly we're going to we're going to uh, want to be supportive of her, of her in that. Um, uh, the letter is in your packet, and uh, I would ask uh, ask you to accept her resignation as of uh, from the full time slot as of March 27, 2021, uh, and return to the volunteer roster also as of that date. Uh, and then we'll begin um, moving forward to uh, fill that slot. All right. Do we have a motion? I make a motion to accept Diane's uh, resignation and uh, to keep her on as a volunteer. As of March 27th, right? As of March 27th. I have a second. second. Is there any further second. discussion? We Gary beat you, Judy. Uh, of course. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> he's closer. I do have a question. Um, Dan, you and Dean had a chance to look over Diana's uh, her letter, and the question I asked that for is: is her timeline accurate in here? Because I'm not aware. Uh, she's indicating here that uh, with her ETO and all, and then she has to April 30th. I just want to make sure that. Everybody's saying the same thing. Right. Uh, her, if I can just interject, her coverage would extend. Uh, she will come off our active roster uh, beginning February. Uh, her ETO is route, uh, excuse me, will come off the beginning of March. ETO will pay her out through the end of March, uh, but she will continue with insurance coverage through the end of April. And I'm just going to confirm with the Everybody official office that that's about yeah. I know. I think Tina's on, and Tina, please correct me. I know um, Paula worked with um, worked with him, and I think everything is correct. So it's it's the, something that uh, Diane and Paula all worked out together. Yeah, um, this is Tina. I I talked with Diana at length about um, her plans and what it would mean when she she gave her resignation. What day she struggled with a day, and I told her what her options were. And if, if um, she stays on till the end of March, 
she will have insurance coverage through the end of April because we always pay a month in advance. That's um, what we have to do. So that's what she opted to do. Okay, sounds good. All right, any further discussion? All in favor by roll call, Gary? Aye. Derek? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And I'm I as well. Motion is passed unanimously. Yeah, it'd be nice to do a thank you note to her. For... That'd be great. Send her care packages and some hiking gear. Send packages. Send her Yeah. All right. Uh, next is authorized Dan to sign the SimQuest contract. Go ahead, Dan. This is a, yeah, this is um, our, 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 our SimQuest course provides all of our support for our computers and networks. Um, it worked out great for us. Um, this actual this next three year contract actually goes down by $338 per month. Um, but compared to where we were before we started working with SimQuest, we are in a much better place now. Um, it took a while, I think, to get everything working right a few years ago, but lately it's been great. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great system for us. Sounds good. Move to authorize Dan to sign the SimQuest contract. Term contract 36 months with commencement date of March 1st, 2021. Monthly contract amount $2,371. All right, I have a motion by Eric. But do I have a second, Judy? Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call, Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Ryan? Aye. And Bob is aye also. Motion is passed unanimously. All right, next, old business. Is there any old business tonight, Dan? Not at all. Great. Next, uh, we already authorized the warrants to be approved, right? So TA report, Dan. Yeah, just two things for me. Just a quick reminder. Uh, next Monday night, the, the 22nd, is the public hearing um, for the Australian ballot for um, our budget and, and all the everything on the warning, per se. Um, Shaft Smith, the moderator, has agreed to moderate that discussion. Um, so just remind everybody that we'll be doing this again next Monday night, just a different subject. I'm not adding anything to that agenda other than the, the public hearing. So um, we'll, we'll all get together and we'll get to a public hearing for the Australian ballot. Um, and where is that going to take place? It will be in the TGU building. Okay. Is right there a time frame right for that besides 6 o'clock start? Um, it's hard to say how long it all depends on who calls in and who participates. Um, I mean, are we going to hang around till 730 waiting for people or? No, no, Shaft will, will take questions. So it'll, it'll be a matter. You just go through the articles, just like kind of what he does at, um, at town meeting now. So oh, okay. he'll ask, you know, so he'll go through the articles um, and, 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 and look for comment on, on each article. All right. I think the important thing is, is just comment or discussions or questions. Um, nothing can be changed. All right. Is there a restriction on, there's still a restriction on how many people can be at the meeting? Yes, there are. I mean, we, we have to keep case separated out. And this is what the, Sarah, you can help me you know, with the logistics of this some too. Um, this is really what Secretary of State's office has been pushing everybody out to do, is to do this public hearing and do the public hearing remotely. Right. Yeah, I was going to clarify when I forget who just said it was going to be at the Tegu building. It's not really going to be at the Tegu building. It's going to be remote, just like this. Um, that was me, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so somebody uh, will most likely be at the Tegu building to start uh, the meeting and set up the video. But but no, it's a remote meeting. I'm actually taking a training tomorrow at 11 with VLCT all about best practices on running them. Good for you, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, the, the only other thing, th thanks to everybody for working through this remote meeting, the, the, the storm that didn't happen kind of, but I think that's kind of a good thing for everybody. But 
Um, we did a lot of work yesterday to get this set up and make it work. I just wanted to say thank you for everybody to do that. And to remind the select board that in March, um, uh, we will start to review the uh, applications for the town administrator position. So um, I'll start to get them all copied and out to everybody soon so that you guys can sort through them and decide who you're going to want to interview. Um, there's, there's quite the packet of people to go through. Um, so just to remind you, you know, the goal was to be able to start interviewing in the March time frame after town meeting. Um, can we ask how many have come in? Um, there's probably 20 or so. Okay. Um, yeah, there, there was a good amount. It's exciting. And that's all I have. Okay, Dan, any questions for Dan from the board or anyone? Thanks, Dan. Next, select board concerns. Judy. Um, well, we some of us got an email about development and DRB and so on. And I kind of, I guess I'm going to address this maybe to Gary because he has more information. Is there anything to be concerned about developments happening in our town not being prepared, like police and fire and EMS? No, the department has. To the best of my knowledge, all the department has been contacted on any uh, any application that comes in before the DRB uh, goes uh, through those. And uh, I, I really didn't understand what the email was really looking for there, but I uh, it sounded to me like wanted to put the DRB decisions on hold. And that's what that's what it sounded like, yeah. And I don't see how you can possibly do that. I mean, you can't. I think we're governed under statute. Uh, once an application is put in, you have a certain amount of days to review it and approve it or deny it, or it's automatically approved. Yeah. I don't see how we can hold up a developer. Yeah, can I can I chime in, please? This is Dan. Sure. Yes. Uh, the, the individual did talk to the chief. The chief, I think, is sitting there right in the room. And I think the chief, and Richard, I'm not going to speak for you, but I think the chief explained that he really didn't have any concerns about um, these developments that were happening. And uh, Gary is completely correct. You, once you've received an application, you have a time frame on which you have to act on it. You can't just you know, stop having hearings. You're required to do it by statute. So it's impossible for us to, to suspend, um, you know, taking applications. Okay, I think I appreciate you answering my question. Thanks, Judy. Brian, do you have anything? I'm all set, thank you. Eric? Uh, Gary? Uh, the only thing that I have is brought to my attention today, and I think Kevin's aware of it, is a piece of sidewalk over on this way you know
know, if we need to. And, um, you know, thanks to the people that set these meetings up that can figure it out. And I guess I was smart enough to use my finger and dial the right number, so I guess we can make it happen. But um, hopefully we don't have to do it too often. It's, it's very nice to have our town staff here, but um, under the circumstances and the storm that didn't happen, it's still good to have a practice run so we can do it if we need to. So thank you. All right, other business. Um, as, I as, wanted... Go ahead. There was two people at the same time, who and who? <laughs> this is Sarah. I just wanted to say um, all the ballots have been mailed out for town meeting. Um, and so people should be getting them in the mail. I sent out a bunch of information to you all and to the VCA. And I uh, tried to think up a lot of the questions that people would have. And I put that list on the town website. So if if people come to you with questions, ballots have been mailed. We got yeah, help from my school. I just voted mine today. It's very easy. Thanks, Sarah. Is there any other business? Yes, we have the, uh, the appointment. Yes. Yep, appointment or or employment or evaluation of public officer or employee. Eric, go ahead. I move that for executive session to discuss one or employment or evaluation of public officer or employee pursuant. One BSA section 313 for Vermont statutes. Is there a second? I think, I'll second it. I think Brian had a question. Go ahead, Brian. No, I'm all set. Okay. Um, all in favor say aye by roll call, Gary. Aye. Eric. Aye. Judy. Aye. Brian. Aye. And I'm I. Motion is passed. unanimously. So Eric has a motion. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, do you have, do, Eric, do you have the email? The one that I emailed you? Oh, no, Eric does have it. I will that we authorize the Liberty Town Administrator to offer the position of permanent full-time administrative assistant to the town administrator to Sarah Hyde at grade two, step 10, at a rate of $19.12 per hour. Okay, I have a motion. Do I have a second, Judy? Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Gary? Aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. This is Bob. It's aye. And motion is passed unanimously. When will she be right. able to start? Uh, I, I have to work that out with her. Okay. We haven't offered her, so hopefully, um, you know, we we did during the interview process. You know, um, you know, they're, they're, every every candidate wants to give two weeks notice, which is a great thing for us. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. Do we have any other business? If not, do we hear a motion to adjourn? Oh. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Beat you, Eric. Motion. Second by Eric. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Gary? Aye. aye. Eric? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. My motion is passed unanimously. Thanks a lot, everybody, for uh, doing this tonight. Good job, Bob. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Have a good night. You too.